what is going on guys welcome back to life of birch this is birch and that's my buddy eric up ahead today we're taking a day trip on the bikes out to fort armistead park in baltimore we are in arnold currently which is right outside of annapolis so we're probably about a half hour away i've never been there before so i'm excited to go see what it's all about uh, apparently it used to be an old fort that defended the Baltimore Harbor and since then it has been abandoned and I guess it's covered in graffiti and people go there to take pictures of their cars and look cool and all that kind of good stuff so we're headed there now and yeah should be fun cue the intro Perfect. Sorry I've been a little skimp on the uploads lately. It is winter obviously, so it's been a bit cold to uh, to be out here making motorcycle videos, but it's now a beautiful 60 degree day here in Maryland, so we're headed out. It's definitely a little windy today, so hopefully not too much of it is going up in my helmet and affecting the audio. If it is, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try to fix it as much as possible, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. I'm not going to pre pretend like I know a lot about Fort Armistead Park, but I did look it up a little bit uh, before we headed out, and that's how I know about, you know, the fact that it protected Baltimore. Once we get there, I'm going to kind of go over some of the facts. One of his friends is going to meet us up there, and I guess she's modeling with his bike. His uh, backpack's full of all of his camera equipment, and uh, he's gonna get some shots of the bike. So today's gonna be more of a uh, vloggy type style, but hope you guys dig it. And actually, you know what? While I got you guys here, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that YouTuber that asks you right now to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Before we set out for this ride, I checked and I had 199 subscribers. So I would love to break 200. Not that that's even a high number or anything, but it's a little milestone. And I guess it's surprising that even 200 people even care about my stupid little videos where I'm being dumb on my motorcycle and mountain bike and me and my wife get half drunk and open boxes of vegetables so thanks for watching hopefully you guys dig it and if you do go ahead and smash the subscribe button as they say oh, horses i don't care how old you are if you see horses and you don't get excited you're a freaking definite axe murderer mail time nothing better than coming outside smoking a cigarette checking your mail on a gorgeous 60 degree day sucking down some smoke in your throat back when i was a realtor a few months ago i sold a house right down here can't for the life of me figure out how from here we're getting to where we're going but i also don't really know where we're going so that's okay yeah right down there powhatan beach drive i sold a uh, a waterfront house down there don't make it fancier than it is though it was a total gut job rehab even though it was waterfront it was only like in the mid 200 thousands be cool to see what it looks like now this guy just ugh. oh fuck. are you kidding me i just literally got air off of that holy shit. what the hell kind of shit? As railroad crossing, I saw Eric swerve and I'm like, oh no, it's not that bad. Smash! Man, sorry to my family friendly viewers as I just started screaming, cussing, and probably will not take the time to censor that out. Oh, we're here already? This is not where I thought it was or how we got here, but that's cool. Okay, guess we're going back here. What's up, dude? promise we're not doing anything bad yeah we're not getting through that mud or are we he sees a way definitely not sketchy at all on my 540 pound motorcycle let me just fall through that hole right there <laughs> How's it going? Good. They don't look like uh, dirt bikes. <laughs> Not quite. The mud was a little sketchy. Dude, I literally ramped off of that railroad crossing. Oh, dude, so did I. I felt the rim hit. Dude, 
and then when I hit the front brake by the mud, I'm like, oh! Dude, yeah. I saw you swerve for the railroad crossing and I'm like, oh, it's too late for me to do it. And dude, I hit it and I'm so glad I stood up to like eat the impact with my legs because it smacks so f***ing hard. Smash! Old ass bike probably blowing out the fork seals and We've made it, Fort Armistead Park. This place looks freaking crazy like a hobo meth den. Definitely people here just doing drugs. <laughs> but it will make for some sick pictures. If you Google search it, there's some photos of where it used to be this when it was uh, in his uh, heyday, and there's a cannon. What? Like getting ready to uh, fire, because I mean, I'm not sure if you knew this, but this place was made for uh, war. Damn, this place is pretty crazy. Insert clip of cannon here. Yeah, <laughs> just Photoshop a cannon right there. Dude, look at how serious. Yeah, so I was reading, I guess like they had a bunch of like uh, artillery and cannons and stuff here. And then at a certain point they shut it down. And then I guess like came back and they were like storing artillery here again for World War One question mark. And then it became this. What's going on guys? <sighs> Work our way back to him because I have a $3,000 camera just sitting there. Hey guys, please don't steal our motorcycles. <gasps> Run down here to show you this before these people steal our bikes. That's the key bridge over there. This is why all of this is up there because facing out here, you'd have all the uh, enemies coming in. So they had all the cannons set up up there, all the artillery rounds and everything to uh, protect Baltimore, which is crazy to think that this stuff happened like not too long ago. And uh, at least in the grand scheme of things. How did Eric even get down there? Saw so, dude. What up? <laughs> I'll just jump off and land on my bike. I don't see how that could go badly. I guess that's how you get down. And there's definitely nothing weird about this this thing says free cats on the back of it but like yeah, there's a there used to be a cat in there i don't know if it's there anymore there's some food but i don't see a cat eric just descends into the sketchy hole <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how much cooler it is down there too like as far as temperature goes yeah that normally happens when shit's haunted oh it's like right taylor taylor you said my friend i know i'm I like you said up? my friend and it's i don't remember the last time you guys at each other soon enough that it's not my friend taylor it's taylor <laughs> wait eric i thought taylor was supposed to be the model and you were taking pictures are you saying i'm too ugly Time to move down to the little parking lot down there to get some pictures so I'm not suiting up all the way. I want to do a burnout here so badly, but I never have before. <laughs> I have now! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. What a great joy. Did you see me do a burnout? <laughs> Out here doing hood rat stuff on a motorcycle that's older than my wife is. Not that my wife is old. Just making comparisons. And there's the good old key bridge. It's actually really pretty down here. Where'd you just whip out a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from? I'll keep that thing on me. <laughs> oh. 
All right, guys, that does it for our Fort Armistead adventure. Thanks so much for watching this far. We are headed out. We got to find a Royal Farms, get some food in us, and uh, then we're headed back to our area. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you liked what you saw and learned a little bit. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Uh, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Maybe we'll do another adventure like this where we go somewhere local and kind of talk about some of it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.